Welcome to Kos. Famously known as the home of the father of medicine, Hippocrates. This small Greek island has a long and storied past, steeped both in myth and reality. It was thought to have been settled in the early Bronze Age, perhaps around 2000 BCE, as we've uncovered artifacts from this period. We've also found late Bronze Age materials that suggest influence from the Minoans, an Egyptian civilization, two of the main players in the Mediterranean during this time. According to Homer's Iliad, the king of Kos, Eurypylos, sent an army to help the Greeks during the Trojan War. Prior to the war, Heracles, the Greek demigod, was supposedly shipwrecked here, by Hera, for his role in sacking Troy. The Mycenaean period saw the island thrive as a hub between the trading juggernauts of the Middle Eastern coast, Anatolia, and Egypt. They would be, however, invaded by the Dorians during the Bronze Age collapse. The Greek Dark Ages would see Kos shrouded in mystery, but at the end of the Archaic period in the early 5th century BCE, the island would fall to the Persians during their second invasion. During the pivotal Battle of Salamis, Kos would provide numerous ships for the Persian army, under the command of Artemisia I, of Caria. She was a queen from Anatolia, and daughter of a king from Halicarnassus. After the Greeks defeated Xerxes' invasion at Salamis, and the Battle of Mycale, a year later, Kos rebelled and was granted democratic rule by their tyrant king. Greece's classical era, beginning after the invasions, saw Kos join the Delian League of Greek city-states, headed by Athens. This meant trouble for the small island, once the Peloponnesian War began. Even though they would pay tribute to Athens as a member of the League, the leading Delian city-state failed to protect Kos, leading to the Spartan general, Astyochus, sacking the island in 412 BCE. Dangers would also continue from the east. After the social war with Athens in the 350s BCE, Kos would soon fall into Achaemenid hands again, this time to Morsalus of Caria. He had a sister and wife, also named Artemisia. Upon his death, she would order a beautiful tomb to be built for him. It would come to be named the Mausoleum at Halicarnassus, one of the seven wonders of the world, named after Morsalus, her brother. In the end, Kos would ultimately be swept away in Alexander the Great's conquests, leading to the Hellenistic Age. This is when Kos's most famous structure would be built, the Asclepian. Asclepians were healing temples dedicated to the demigod Asclepius. This son of Apollo, and god of medicine, would wield a rod, called the Rod of Asclepius. While similar to the Caduceus, wielded by Hermes, this rod was a symbol of medicine. Curiously enough, a common error, especially in the United States, is the adoption of Hermes Caduceus, and not the Rod of Asclepius, as the symbol of medical care. Clearly an error, the confidence associated with it, caused the Caduceus to eventually become a de facto symbol of healing, even though the Rod had no roots in medicine. A number of healing rituals were done at these Asclepian temples, including a number of faith healing, purification, and cleansing diet techniques. After the split of the Macedonian Empire, Kos became independent, and allied with the Ptolemies of Egypt. The Hellenistic Age would see great cultural development on Kos, and it would become a focal point in the Aegean, as the home of Hippocrates, the father of medicine, the painter Apelles, and poet, Philetus. Panhellenic Games were held on Kos, hosting athletes from at least 50 different locations. Following Roman hegemony in the Mediterranean, Kos would produce the Koai Vests. Luxurious, transparent Roman dresses. Romans would go on to rebuild cities on the island after an earthquake, building latrines, stoas, a temple to Apollo, and thermal baths, near the Asclepian complex. Though small, this tiny medical hub on the Aegean boasts a very unique history. And its present is quite wondrous as well. Thanks for watching Made in History. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos.